Hello everybody and welcome to Eco. This is a global survival game about migrating turtles. I'm joking, that was a joke. This is a global survival game and the ultimate goal is to prevent a meteor from crashing into the world. I'm not sure where the meteor is at this time. After a great start there, huh? I am currently playing on a solo server, so I'm not in here with anybody else besides me. I'm gonna get the hunter uh thing or do I have to res no I don't have to research it yay so I'm gonna get the bow I could Ooh, what's that predatory instincts you increase how close you can approach animals Ooh, that's nice I can't did I get it no that only cost one to get oh frick ya yeah. I need to use those wisely because I only have 25 left and I need to research butchery good to know okay so now I have survivalist oh no I have Ugh, Hunter. Good lord, that was a big hiccup. So now I have a bow. I'm gonna go ahead and put this here. Do I have anything that I can discard? Yes, I don't need fern seeds. What the frick? Oh, it drops it into a sack. Well, that's nice. I also don't need those because I have a crop ton of them. That's actually really cool. If they drop into a sack, so that's not how it worked in the last time I played this, I don't think. There's something swimming over there. Where? What is it? Oh, it's a fish. Okay, so do I also have a fishing pole? No. Okay, so it gave me a bow, but not a fishing pole. I... Alright. So, I think I can... Ooh, okay. This is very weird terrain to get up. Uh, this is fully released. It came out this year on the 6th of February. Um, it's main goal is to evolve civilization enough to where you can uh, create a stock market and then upgrade and get big machinery to stop the meteor and stuff like that I'm not really sure I haven't seen a playthrough of this I'm playing it because it resembles minecraft quite a lot and I love minecraft so that's the main reason why I'm playing it it's a great game I definitely recommend it it is 30 US dollars if that's too spendy for you we could get a rabbit I know how to kill a rabbit I mean I know how to kill anything but rabbits and turkeys are the easiest and I just saw a turkey they're also less startleable for one damage that usually kills them and not gave him a heart or did I get no well I wonder which one's mine kerthwonk oh I missed kerthwonk there we go. I killed a turkey. Woo. So, if you kill too many... I can't pick that up. Really? That's a bunch of bullcrap. If you kill too many animals at a time, like if you... You can in extinct animals. That's what I'm trying to say. Fwump. Ha! I got him. It's probably not a good thing to laugh at. I believe you get XP when you kill an animal. Yeah, you do. Ooh, I think you do anyway, because I've, I've ranked up since I first started this episode. But that, this is my second time attempting it. Frick's sake! It also is a globe, so you can circumnavigate it if you choose to do so. Uh, there is limitations to the world. There was a glitch back when I played it earlier this year. I believe it was in March or somewhere around there. Uh, there was a edge of the world glitch to where there was only like a plot of land where it was only like Minecraft, but like a, a island. It's like a chunk of Minecraft in the world and that that's all that was there. And if you walked into the void, you actually fell down into it and it took you about five minutes to reset back up on land. I believe someone mentioned that on a forum. Oh, I found Wallet Corn! So I should be able to complete this quest now if there is a ripe one. There we go. Nope. There we go. I got corn. So I should be able to plant it now. That's not ripe. Wait, so the other one should have been ripe. Why did they not give them to me? Give me the corn. Thank you. So where do we go now? The, it's not a completed game by any means. There is flaws in it. As you can see here, the landscape is not the best at times. This would have been a great place to do one. Other than the fact that it's in the middle of nowhere. 
What if you can build boats? Because I saw on a, a trailer for the game that there's cars. I'm not sure how that works. The game gives you originally 30 g days, it, that counts even when you're not playing the game, to stop the meteor from striking the earth, or the world. It's, this isn't earth, I don't think. You also have to eat. It's a survival game, so probably not a shock to you there. This game is intended to be played with other players, like co-op. Uh, I'm not doing that right now. I think I've stated that in the beginning of this video. I'm not sure. That whenever I record or try to record one video and then it fails and then I try to record another, I'm not sure what I said in that one. So I pretty much repeat myself in both videos. It's not that great. I also don't think there's caves. So every bit of ore, I think, just sits on the surface or maybe on a, a face of a wall, like a rock wall maybe. Uh, they may add that. I don't know. I'm not sure if they'll do anything with this game. This game may be finished. I don't think so, though. I can't get out of the water. Unlike in Minecraft, you can jump two blocks. Or two high. That looks like something valuable. Uh, this... If you do play on a server, you can trade and do things like that. Uh, I don't have anyone to play with it right now. I don't know anyone who owns this game, so I'm just playing it solo. I'm going to go ahead and put away my board, Arabot. They've also added a tutorial into this game, which is freaking awesome. I love the tutorial. I love what they've done with this game since March or whenever it was. Your first objective in the- or one of your first objectives in the game is to build a, a house with a wall. I mean, a room. So, what I have right now is sufficient. It's just a simple house. I, you can't have more than two spaces for windows. It won't allow you for that. But you can build windows and doors. So actually, I should do that. So what you do for that is you go over here. I don't have any hewn logs. Do I have any hewn over here? I do not. So I need to order up some hewn logs. Get a cup. No, let's get quite a few of them. That is so loud. So as you can see in the bottom left, I have 28 skill points. That goes up and down depending on your diet, the house you live in, and something else. I can't remember. There's also land that you can claim with the land claim stakes and the land papers. I believe you can print more of those papers when you get a special skill or whatever it's called. I'm not entirely sure. I, I don't know a lot about this game. I just know it's really fun and I like it. So if we take the hewn logs, we go to the hammer, hold down shift, use the scroll wheel. We can scroll down to the window button or the window option and then we can place. So now we have windows instead of just holes in our house. So these count as blocks. These do not count as open spaces. So you can have a huge opening j just of these windows for a room, I mean. It requires three logs to build an axe. If you don't have any wood and you need an axe, you're pretty much SOL. You obviously burn calories while working, such as cutting down trees, swimming, and or hiking. And by- Oh my- The kick is freaking good there, bud! By hiking, I mean, uh, jumping up on things. What else do I need to- Okay, can I move you now? I want to push you down the hill. I, I can't do that? Okay. So it- No, I don't want pulp because those take away a lot of calories. And I believe pulp you can make lumber out of, so you get even more lumber from this stuff. I believe that stuff contaminates the world. Or either that or it grows trees. Like it, it, it uses it as seeds. Okay, you get the frick out of here because I want this place looking nice. Okay. So I need plant fibers to make a research table, and I need a fishery. And to get a fishery, I need 20? I need 20 logs. Okay, simple enough. I'm going to get some more hewn right now. I believe you need a special thing to have a door, or to build a door, I mean. It requires the same thing as windows, but probably a bit more. Because on here, I don't see a door. I see a fence, stairs, and then a roof. We should go build a roof. 
How do I get up there? Is this a roof? That's not a roof. That is a roof. Hold on. Do I... Wait. I need to set these down. You go there. Do I place... Hold on. I think I figured out how to make uh, flooring. I wasn't sure how to make that, but I'm pretty sure I know how. I know how. You can also authorize certain people, so you can authorize admin everyone or a certain citizen, if they are a citizen. I don't think you can add them if they aren't a citizen. No, I'm wrong about that. You can. And then you can link uh, their storages, so you can have the camp campsite storage link to this one, which it already default by default is, and then you can do it to the big one and so so on and so forth. That's not what I wanted to do. I need to go make some more hume. So there's the meteor right there. I, that impacts in 29 days? Okay, maybe it doesn't calculate when you're not in-game. Because that was 29, ga 29 days two days ago. Not really sure, but that thing is extremely menacing and I am not entirely sure how to destroy it. That thing is as big as the freaking moon! Alright, I have just completed my interior. Now I need to figure out how to make doors. Okay, I made a fishery. Oh! I can chuck clams. Let me go get them clams. I have five. I think I need... <laughs> I have five. I think I need more than that. Oh no, I need five. Okay. So I need... S I can clean salmon, shred kelp. Oh. That's how I get fibers. How do I get kelp? I have raw fish from shucked clams. <laughs> shucked clams, that's funny. Would down here be what I'm looking for? Would I be able to get up if I go down here? Um... Also, hold on, let me go up and get some air. I found out how to go down, it's control, left control. So I can get some more clams, I can get some of them. I don't really know what those are used for. Um... I cannot. I don't know where kelp is. Probably in shallow water. I would assume so. Okay. I'm just gonna get as much stuff here as I can and get out before I drown. Um... Where would kelp be? Alright, I got kelp, so now I can shred kelp. Oh. I need the fishing skill. So then we go to skill points. We go to hunter? Where do we go to? It takes a minute to get plant fibers and shred kelp, really. Well, that's a weird place for you to sit there, but I recommend not going down there because that's a cliff. That, that'd be quite a wet splash. A wet splash? I meant a big splash. Okay, I got a carpentry table too, so I can now make a door. I don't think I have six logs. It takes five minutes to build a door. I can build a Wainwright table. What the frick is that? Oh, smoothing wood. I can build a chair. Contract board. Don't need that, because there's literally no one else in the server. I can build a toilet. A wooden potty. Seems legit. I can build a table. A tailoring table. A water wheel, that would be useful because there's a river over there somewhere. A windmill, and a wooden straw bed. Cool! That well, it's gonna take 10 minutes to build both of those doors, but, you know. 